So, uh, this is gonna be my first vlog of uh, 2020. So, uh, Happy New Year, and I uh, hope you had a good Christmas. Uh, you can tell by my voice, I've had laryngitis. So, um, excuse my voice. Now, I haven't been out vlogging now for over a month, and uh, it's nice just to get out and start vlogging again and taking some images. So today, I'm at Gendinas. Uh, taking a look around, seeing what pops out. I've come across this nice fence that's leading into the lake on the side here. Uh, right in the background, got some fantastic, beautiful light. Got some clouds for detail in the sky. Looks really nice. What I'm going to do is put a six. Put, I'm going to put a six stopper. Uh, smooth out the water because there's a bit of ripples on the lake. Uh, got a nice reflection on this fence there want to capture and uh, yeah I just want a long exposure not too long I don't want the clouds too streaky uh, also going to use a polarizer to take the glare off and a 0.9 soft red to bring the uh, clouds down so it should make a nice image So I've come up the, uh, towards the uh, end of the lake here. I wanted to come here today to shoot this lone tree because uh, when you come here in the summer there's a lot of uh, green sort of bushes around it and it's hard to see. It doesn't really stand out. So what I've done is try to get here uh, before that light goes behind the mountain and we've got some nice pockets of light hitting the mountain behind and the little island that you see. Uh, just behind it is lighting up so what I want to do is kind of get the camera quite low get the tree at the center where the mountain sort of go into a V shape and sort of lodge it in between there to get the shot um, I'm gonna probably try a bracketed shot I'm also gonna put a six stop on it uh, polarizer to take the glare and just smooth out the water a bit and uh, see how that works but um, this tree looks much better in the winter time uh, it just comes out a bit more I think
So I've come over here just to explain the next shot uh, so you don't get the sound of the uh, water uh, overpowering my uh, beautiful voice. Um, so yeah, what I've thought about doing here uh, was getting really low with a tripod so you can see the river sort of curling down and uh, I've got the bridge in the background and just behind that there's some other waterfalls flowing down. So I've gone really low with a tripod uh, just so you can see the action of the uh, water coming from it. Now I tried a six stop on this to see how that works with a 0.9 soft grad um, <coughs> and I've also bracketed to try and get a, a sort of one second what I, what I like is one about a second uh, exposure for uh, rivers um, but I tried two different types so we'll see which one works the best on this one so yeah so with this shot I've gone really low with the uh, tripod right down to the bottom so you get the sort of size of the river coming at you uh, and the bridge in the background so there you go Right, so I've come up to the top here by these uh, falls coming down. Uh, the terrain's really boggy and very slippy, so it's hard to get a position. Um, I think I'd like to come back here another day and explore it more. I know it's going to be difficult trying to get up to this uh, side of the mountain, uh, but I've, I reckon there are some beautiful falls right at the top there. I tried to get the drone up there, but there's too much wind, so uh, I only sort of got halfway up to have a look with the drone. But there's definitely some amazing falls at the top there. Uh, it'd be a bit of a climb, but I'm sure you can get a couple of compositions on the way up, so, so that's worth it. So I've come here to the side here, the, the best I can. I've got this falls here flowing down on this dark rock. You've got these sort of trees sticking out on the edge of it. Nice shot. Uh, also. The sun's behind the mountain here, but it's highlighting the top of the peaks over here, so you're getting shafts of light at the top there, so it's quite nice. Now with this one, I've bracketed it, and I've also tried a six stop on this with a 0.9 soft guard to bring the sky down. <coughs> Not sure how that's gonna work, but uh, yeah, I've given it a go. I've tried a bracketed shot and a, a slow stopper and a 0.9 soft grad, uh, so we'll see how that works. So that's it from uh, Gentinas. Uh, it's been really nice just to get out because I've been stuck indoors for over a month. Uh, really nice to get out, a bit of fresh air this afternoon. I think I got a couple of good images, I hope. Uh, so yeah, so uh, thanks for watching the first vlog of 2020. And uh, 
please do subscribe hit the bell button to be notified every time I do a video uh, so yeah until next week thanks for watching bye Thank you.